Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I've got Edgar with me today. Hello! Hello. Um, so Edgar, what have you been doing? Are you ready for school this week? Well, maybe. Uh, but I have a surprise for you. Oh, do you? Let me just go and get it. Okay. What have you got for me? Oh, it looks like some money. There, you can go out and buy dinner tonight. Oh, that's very nice of you, but Edgar, this is fake money. I can't use this in the shop. They wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to buy anything with this fake money. I need the real money to be able to buy things. Well, that's okay because I have something that you like to eat anyway. Oh, do you? What have you got? Have you got some chocolate for me? No. I'll give you a clue. It comes from the ocean. Oh, it comes from the ocean. I don't really like fish, so it won't be fish. I like prawns and I like lobster. Maybe it's a lobster. Yes, you're right! Oh, um, Pippi. <laughs> Pippi, <laughs> that's, that's you, Pippi. Um, Edgar, this, this, uh, this lobster, um, you can't eat it. Why not? Um, because it's fake. It's plastic. And I'm sure Pippi would love to play with it. Because it's plastic. Oh. Well, I've got something else for you. Oh, do you? Not something to eat this time, hey? No, it's not to eat. Oh, oh, that's so nice, isn't it, Pippi? So nice to have some flowers. Hey, Edgar, these aren't real. These are fake as well. They don't even smell. Lavender is so beautiful and it has such a beautiful smell. But these don't have any smell. They're fake. Oh, dear. I'm not having much luck, am I? No, you are not. Oh, well, I better just go in my room. Um, maybe I can scare Pippi with something else in my, in my bag. What have you got in your bag that would scare Pippi? Ha! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That doesn't even look like you now, Edgar. Does it, Pippi? It doesn't affect Pippi, but it doesn't even look like you. Oh, you, you look a bit weird with that fake face on. That's not your real face. I right, much prefer your real face. Oh, well, there's just one more thing I have in my bag. Oh, oh, I'm afraid to ask what it is, Edgar. Here it is! A cake! Oh, Edgar, this is plastic as well. This isn't real, it's fake. I can't eat a fake cake. Well, there's less calories in it. Well, that's for sure. There's less calories in it, but it's fake. It's not real. Edgar, those things, they, because they're not real, they don't work the same way. Mmm, I see. You know what? That reminds me of the, the lesson that we're going to do this week. Um, when the Pharisees were, they were pretending... They were pretending to be interested in what um, 
what Jesus was saying. And they were asking him questions. But it wasn't questions to go God's way. It was questions so that they could trick him and uh, find a way to, to, uh, to uh, arrest him. Ah, oh, that doesn't sound good. No, it wasn't. Um, I've got a picture of here. Oh, do you need a pencil? No, I don't need a pencil because I know your pencils will be fake as well. I've already drawn it. Here's my drawing of the Pharisees and, or the, the teachers of the law. Well, sometimes they're called the scribes. And this fellow, he, uh, he was asking Jesus questions to try and trick Jesus. But Jesus, uh, his answers were just great because they couldn't find anything that they could trick him with. And one of the teachers of the law saw that he was answering so well, he asked him a question. He said, which one of the commandments is the most important? And, uh, and Jesus said, well, the most important commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And, and the, the man could not believe it. He, um, he said, oh, really? How do I love the Lord with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my, my mind, and with all my strength? Jesus said that we should love God with everything we have. Not be fake but to love him with everything we have. So to love him totally with all our heart, that's our feelings, with all our um, soul, that we sort of point to our feet uh, when we sing a song about the soul. But it's not this soul that we're talking about. It's the part of us that makes us us so with all our soul with all our mind with everything we think about and with all our strength so with every part of us we need to love God and you'll have to look in the pack to find out what the teacher of the law said next okay well that's all for now. See you next time.